Oh, I can't even see the chat, but welcome to Mrs. Green Thumb. And I'm here because I got excited uh, to show you that we, my friend that I originally got monarch butterflies from, um, her granddaughter is really good at finding them. And so she was over yesterday. She was excited in the garden, the butterfly garden, and was sh showing me and she found an egg. And I don't know whether it's going to hatch or not, but I just actually, I like videotaping or putting it into film stages of the butterfly and educating people. So I'm super excited about it. I'm just going to take the lid off here. And I love to have this on my channel to show you how hard it is. It's hard to spot an egg. And she has such good eyesight. And she, she raises a lot of them. And she's only like about 12 years old. And actually, she showed me that they go on the flowers too. So I have to show you if this is in the camera, you can see it really good. Um, you can see everything really good. But right there, how tiny the egg is. Let's see, it's right here. I don't want to touch it. Um, that little white dot. So you can see how hard it is to find. And uh, I, hopefully we can find some more. She's going to find some. She said she's going to give me some more. But it's not 100% the egg would hatch. Hey, hi. Hey, Redneck. How's it going? Good morning. I hope you, I know you're not doing too well, but I hope you at least got some sleep. So uh, I'm just kind of, uh, you know, I've, this is my fourth year raising monarch butterflies. And uh, we just uh, found this one yesterday. So I'll show you how little it is. Well, it looks like it's just me and you right now. But I kind of find it important to talk about this little creature. I don't know if it's going to hatch or not. So I got it ready in case it hatches. It's got a piece of milkweed here in my container right there. And that's what my live stream is about today. The first start, first signs of seeing a monarch butterfly. Like I said, this is four years. And I said, um, if I find them, they're going to be named after kind of like, I, I'm going to name one after my... Um, my son-in-laws and my husband, that's three. And I got to just make sure everybody gets and my family gets a butterfly released under their name. And then that, then I'll be releasing butterflies under uh, people under here on my channel. I had said that the last year and a couple years I've said it. So this is like the first start in this first sign of it. Hope you're well. Hope you're doing well. So I know it's a little early. I didn't know if anybody would be odd, but... That's what I'm doing. That's what my live stream is about. And of course, you can see me here. I had to do a different way of running this. Uh, my camera is really bad. I'm lucky I can get it this way. Uh, showing things on my computer. but And this is a little unusual. Normally, I like talking about garden. But I butterflies is a big deal. Oh, it looks like we have a little bit of a delay going on. It's a, if that was the thumbs up from you, thank you so much, Redneck. I appreciate that. But this is an important thing for me. I've been waiting for this. I was so excited when uh, she found it because she was looking. I said, I I can't see them at all. She said, well, sometimes they go on flowers. And, God, I would have never saw this. She had to, her eyesight. She is young, though. She's only like 12, I think, about. Uh, around there, and uh, she found them on the, it was fun having her yesterday, her and her grandma, which her friend, she's a friend of mine, she's my neighbor, and uh, I was showing her all the stuff in the garden, she like, was really at her age, she was really paying attention, I let her pick some fresh th thorn berries, and some strawberries, and I let her taste some blueberries, and uh, she really liked it, and even raspberries, uh, gotta go Go show you. Oh, that's cute. Thank you so much, Redneck. That's very awesome. So she had some rhubarb that she never had before. So it was kind of fun watching them taste stuff that she's never actually had fresh stuff that there's no, I consider I'm very proud of the stuff I grow. There's no, um, so, you know, there's nothing. There's no chemicals on my stuff. It's all fresh. And so it's kind of fun seeing somebody younger like eat it. She was like, she was, she was really getting into it. She was testing everything. I sent her home back with some stuff. And then she was like, well, I'll, I'll try to give you some. 
because she was really, she really raises a lot of butterflies at such a young age. And sometimes she, it was funny because she doesn't even like people get, she doesn't give them away to anybody. And her grandma was like, what? You're actually going to give her some? And it was so cute. It was really cute. So thank you for the second thumbs up. I appreciate it. And that's what I'm here. Just for, if it doesn't get too busy, I'll probably get off in an hour. I don't like coming on and just coming on, getting off. I like staying on about an hour and then whatever it takes it from there. Not too long after then I got to go outside and do actually some gardening. Well, hello. We have one about here. Oh, you do. From Af it must be a different one because th these ones migrate from Mexico. We have the monarch bottle here in the UK. They migrate from Africa. That's a long way. Africa. Now that must be a different kind of monarch because these these originally come from Mexico. They do their round through North America, come down to Canada, and then they go back. And it takes about four generations, three to four generations, to do the whole complete. Welcome back. Thanks, Renette. Uh, and Ashley, it's nice seeing you, by the way. Welcome. Big shout out to Ashley. Um, I, and Ashley, like I, re, I might probably repeat this several times, but this is my fourth year doing it. And I was excited to come on to show you because um, I don't know if it'll hatch, but it's kind of cool. But there's no way. I'm going to have to investigate. There's, I don't think it's the same monarch because, like I said, it starts from Mexico, comes all the way down like through California, and it goes all the way around through North America down to where I am. To, I'm in Ontario in Canada, and then it goes back up, and three to four generations it takes to do the whole complete circle of this. So right now, the butterflies that we get right now are between the second and third generation of butterflies, and they become the third and fourth generation by the hit Mexico again. So it's a complete circle. It's kind of interesting. But here, um, since you're here, this is what the egg looks like. That's how hard it is to find. You can see it right here. Right, that little white egg, and it's not 100% that it will hatch, but it's kind of cool looking at it. You can see it, and, and thank goodness to the camera lens. Um, that's the reason you can see it, because it's so tiny. When you're looking for that little white egg right here, and it's the first time I ever saw them. I never normally see them on the flower part of this. The last three years, I got them on the leaf, and then... Um, I would normally get about two or three of them and then they would either hatch like the first year, um, only one hatched the egg. So it doesn't mean this is going to hatch. Just, it, it, I have to wait it out a couple weeks to see if it hatches. So that's why I put some leaves with it. So that like two, three weeks. So like anyways, the first year I had one, um, second year I had, I had one hatch. I had two that I got and one, one, no, three. One didn't hatch. One, two of them hatched, and one the one of them died, and I ended up with one and with damaged wings. Um, and, and I kept it alive until it passed away. And then the second year, I had the same and only one. And then the third year, I got two, two, uh, no, two the second year and one the third year. Last year I had one. So that's uh, that's what I got going on. And it's kind of exciting because this is for now on. I'll be, I'll do the, my normal regular garden talk live streams, but I'm going to definitely do some of these. And I'll probably, if I could, either live stream or I'll do lots of videos releasing them and all that. So, and I'm going to do a little differently with them because I'm going to put them outside. I'm not going to put them in my house like I used to because there's something about um, you shouldn't be raising them inside the house. They need to be left outside, part of nature. So, I'm going to put it in the grass to protect them against the mice and stuff like that. Thanks for the thumbs up. I appreciate that. So I'm going to have to, that's interesting, Ashley. I, you said you, cause I asked somebody else if they get butterflies in the UK. I got to check into that. Cause I've never heard of monarch butterflies from, migrating from Africa. So they got to be a different monarch butterfly or they're a different butterfly because I've never heard of that. Now I have heard of a white, but there is a white monarch butterfly and then this, the normal butterfly. So that's interesting. I'm definitely going to investigate to see if, if they have them out of Africa because I've never heard of that before. Never. 
You learn some things new all the time. So anyways, yeah. Hello, little Beth. Hey, Susan. Uh, you're welcome, she said. Uh, good morning, Susan. Hello, little Beth. Welcome, little Beth. Do you want to see? Susan, I don't know if it'll hatch, but uh, we found this last night. Hey, Kathleen, good morning. Look at, I'm so excited. The first one, whether it hatches or not, I don't know. Um, but my um, my friend, granddaughter is the one that's so good at this and finding them. So she found this one last night with me. We were looking and um, that's the first one. She said, it was so cute because what happens is um, she gets them, but she Let's, we joke about it that she likes to hoard the eggs and, and her, her grandma that. And so she said, well, if I find some, I'll give you a, a few, she said. And I said, really? And her grandma goes, you're going to share with her? And so it was kind of cute. So um, it was so much fun having her. I mean, I miss that young age. And she she was so cute. I was letting her, like, uh, it was so, like I said, I don't know 100% if that's going to hatch or not, but um I got, it was like having a little baby, but the baby went for a ride. It flew off. <laughs> the wind flew it and I grabbed it and then I had to put it back in the house to save the, the egg just in case it had this or not. But she was so cute because I was giving her, um, I was letting her taste everything. Yeah, I thought so. It's all right. No, don't worry about Ashley. I thought it was a different, uh, a mom, I thought it was a different butterfly. That's okay. Uh, listening for a few. No problem. Nope, I got a little wrong. It's the painted lady that comes from. Yeah, I thought so because uh, Monarch is only the like I said, Mexico through northern um, northern America and then down and up to Canada and goes back up and three to four cycles of the Monarch butterfly. So that was weird. You telling me that? That's why I was going to look into that because I never heard of it before. And there was a white Monarch butterfly too, which is cool. Um, I don't know if I'd ever get that. I don't think they're raised. They don't come here, the white ones, but there is a white one. And it, that would be cool to have a white butter monarch. That would be new for me. So this is the start, guys. That's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, the live stream of this. Um, I just have a lot of fun educating people. I was saying hi to people in chat and you too. Oh, how dare them not let you say hello to people. Sorry for that. So little Beth, hello. Hello, little Beth. Welcome. Uh, I, it's uh, it's an honor to have new people here and my friends from quite a while ago. Anyways, I'll probably bring it up so because I wanted to show you how hard that is to spot. This is the first time um, it's been on flowers. Hey, Grammy. Hello, darling. Welcome. This is the first time it's been on, on flowers. She has such good eyesight. Anyways, um, I don't know. I don't know why it's be. I have no idea. I have no control over YouTube, but um, this is the first one, and hopefully I'll get a whole bunch more eggs. I'm really excited about it. Anyways, um, she's like 12 years old. She's like, I'm going to call her the Monarch Butterfly Queen at such a young age. She's very good and educated on this thing. She's young. She's raised so many and released them. And so she helped me find them. And my thing was, it was so cute. I was giving her all kinds of stuff in the garden. I, I was going, did you ever have a uh, thornberry for? She says, nope. I said, I got to warn you, they're a little tart. But so she ended up liking them. And I was giving her a blueberry and we found a rat. We had a strawberry I gave her. So, so a couple of blueberries, some thornberries. Um, and she never had rhubarb before. So I said, don't worry. Your mom won't mind you having this. This is all healthy. There's no sprays on my stuff at all. So I was letting her have whatever. She had a good time. She had a good time testing everything in the garden. So it was cute. I missed that. I missed uh, having having her come. So Maniac, how, Grandma Maniac, have you ever seen a monarch butterfly before? And Susan, you must have called for a Grammy, eh? Mm. Okay, the number one question, why are you putting in a, a, it on a leaf? Because once it's, it hatches, it's going to eat. That's what it lives off the redneck. So you have to put it in here with uh, food. That's the food source. When, when the egg hatches and it turns into a caterpillar, 
It constantly eats. It's the, the one and only butterfly that won't die from this. This is poisonous to insects. So they live off of that. They live off of um, a milkweed. So you have to have the source right there. That's I'm feeding it. If it does hatch, if yeah, okay, good. Because if it does hatch, it needs to eat, and this is what it eats. Um, and it, it could be, I might have to switch the leaf because this could take two to three weeks to actually hatch, or it might not hatch at all. I mean, I don't I don't know. It's a I've had through the years, this being my fourth year, I've had some eggs not hatch. They just didn't. So I have no idea whether it's gonna hatch or not. But to me, the first sign of it is exciting. Now it means I can start looking for them. And um, I have a lot of area for them to put eggs on it. So, but I have a hard time spotting that out. I mean, she was literally going through all the flowers and found, at first she said, oh, nope, I can't find any. And then she like started looking more like, like a, she was like, like a little needle in the haystack. It was like tiny, her tiny little fingers are looking through all the flowers and found this. I mean, I was like, oh my God, her name's Allie. She's so cute. Allie, you have freaking amazing eyesight because I can't see that. Oh my God. If she didn't point it out to me with my glasses, I could never. Hello, Life with Ron. Welcome. Oh, thank you, Miss Southern Belle for the raid. Good morning to everybody. Thank you guys. Um, great to see you. Hi. Well, he hello, Everyday Solar. How are you? And we have Miss Kitty Monkbank Muchie. Hello. Thank you to Miss Southern Bell for the raid. Simply Becky DI. Thanks, Miss Southern Bell. Thanks, doll. Um, and this is what we're doing today. Something different. Um, you planted a pineapple. That's fantastic. There it is right here, the egg. Just I wanted to show you the start of these live streams. My more, more of my live streams are going to be into Monarch Butterfly. Time Lord, welcome. Welcome. Life with Ron, welcome. So that is, I've been waiting for this. Um, raid time, sound alarm. Ding, ding, ding. I don't have a thing like that. Or I have nothing on, on the way I live stream on this way. But yes, thank you so much. Yes, hello. That's a good one, Susan. Hello, everybody from Miss Southern Bell's raid. So there... Gonna show it. Look how tiny that is, though. I'm gonna. So I probably won't come back until it hatches. Probably. Thank you for the thumbs up and everything. These guys are awesome. Thank you so much. It's kind of blurry right now, but I'm just trying to show you how tiny that is. Let's see. Let's see, the camera is really blurry, but that thing right there, that little white dot, is uh, the egg. So you can wonder why I, don't, I have a hard time finding it. If you got not the greatest sight, you can see that. So I love it. Oh, shoot. Anybody knows me how exciting that is. I mean, it might not be exciting to you, but uh, for me, this is a big moment for me to start off the year finally finding one. Because everybody that's known me for like that many years kind of like knows what I'm talking about. Because they'd asked me, any sign yet? Not yet. So, and I put also, by the way, the reason it's in a sealed container, this will go back outside eventually in the garage. I'm going to put it, I'm not going to leave it here. It needs to get adjusted to the temperature outside. But I'm going to keep an eye on it. And once it uh, opens up and becomes a caterpillar, I'm going to leave it outside. Hey, Crystal. Good morning, doll. So, uh, yeah, and if you leave it, what happens is the reason you're leaving it in the light, uh, a container like this is because spider mites or anything else will go after the egg and kill it. So I actually have a lid here, and this is what I do. I keep the lid on it until it actually hatches, um, and, and I still keep the lid on it until it's big enough. And then I have a butterfly cage. I'll be putting them in a butterfly cage once they hatch. Um, and then they, they, they live that, yeah. You, yeah, you have fun with them. I do. They're like a little baby to me. It's interesting to me, but I like simple things. Well, yeah, no, I know. It, but it's not really that hard to do. And I don't recommend everybody wanting to do this, but it's something I like doing. And I like, feel like I feel like I'm doing something good in the world. And um, the milkweed actually has, you should see, I, I wanted to film it because obviously I can't do live streaming, but 
the milkweed outside is so happy. I mean, I'm seeing four bees. There's four bees buzzing around, rolling in all the, the flower top of the milkweed. Like they're really enjoying it. So I am bringing all the bees to my area, which is really nice too. I see all kinds of insects um, rolling in all my, my plants. So they're really loving it. So how are you? Good morning, Chris, Crystal. And Grammy, have you, what about you? Have you ever, anybody ever raised it at least or been around raising uh, monarch butterflies? Have you ever done that before? Have you guys ever done that? Oh, me and my cough again. Oh, you raise them all the time? I do it all the time. You, you raise monarch butterflies all the time, yeah? You never seen this before? It depends on what area you live in because they migrate to a certain way. And they won't hit all the states, but they hit some of the states. Oh, I didn't know that, Crystal. I didn't know you raised them. Well, that's cool. Good for you. I will be doing it a different way, though. Technically, they're saying, oh, for their radar, that's what it is. Is They have a radar here, and you're supposed to kind of, like, let them adopt to and read them outside. Because apparently it does something to their radar, uh, putting them back to the round through to go back to Mexico. So I'm trying something different. I don't want to leave them directly outside because <coughs> mice and everything else eat the eggs and they eat the caterpillars. Trust me. So I'm designing something. Uh, my netting is going to go outside in the garage and I'm going to hang it down so that nothing could get access to it, even a mouse or anything. And I'll hang it in the garage and we have the doors open all the time. So at least it'll get, it'll get the, you know, the breeze and it'll get a bit of the weather. And then I'm eventually I'll adopt to them to go outside before I let them loose. So every year I kind of raised them in the house and then I let them loose outside. And this time I'm going to kind of more gradually do it outside and make it more natural to them because boy, they got a lot of predators. I mean, seriously, all the insects, everything from aphids and everything else eat the eggs. And then when they become caterpillars, well, you got birds that are eating them. And uh, so they, they have a way less of a chance if you kind of don't help them out a little bit, as long as you do it right. You know, so that's, that's, you know, we all are put on the earth there to do something. And this is my kind of helping the environment, I guess. That's my thing um, for doing it. And I find it fascinating to find it fascinating to do it. So if you do a crystal, I'm glad I, I had no idea, Crystal. That's kind of cool. Maybe one time we'll have to do something together because um, very cool that you'll uh, have to show us that you do it too. It's a little bit of, you have to have some love for it. It's a little bit of work and there's a little bit of patience. But if all turns out in so many, you know, so many, a couple months, I think it's about six weeks that it's done. It's not long time period. You're not dedicating too much time for these. Not really. All you got to do is, right, this stage is easy. And then once they become a caterpillar, you just feed them, throw the, clean out the container, feed them. Hi, Sakuna. Feed them and then just switch their leaves out, clean the container. And that's it. All I do is switch the leaves, clean the container out until they turn into a butterfly. They'll go to a chrysalid and then they'll take, that'll take so much time. I think it was about a week. Sorry, some don't get the phone. So um, I'm not going to get up this time to go answer the phone because I have an answer machine and, and so normally my husband will pick up the phone out in the garage. So, and I wish I could, I, my internet's not good. I wanted to show you. Yeah. So Kuna, I'm so excited about it. This, you know, you've been following my journey for the last several years. So this is fun. Anybody, I don't know if anybody's known me since I started this channel, but that was the very first video I did is how to raise a monarch butterfly. Um, I did that. Now, this is like I said, this is my fourth year. I will try to behave myself. Thank you, Red. Thanks, honey, for uh, calling people out and... Uh, Thank you. It's been an honor. Thanks for having me, the redneck. I'll, I'll see you later on your channel when you do a live. I'll stop in because like, you're normally at night. So if you're, you're on, I'll come and visit you like I did the other day. And I just pray you and your wife feel better because I know you have, you two are going through a lot of stuff. So I pray that you guys feel better for sure. Um, Sakuna says, I can't wait to see it. I know, Sakuna. Um, 
me either. This is a first start. And I actually, if I get my, my, my daughter's grand, wait a minute, my uh, neighbors that started me out on this like four years ago, she's actually involved with it. I'm showing her all the gardening. I actually want her to, um, you know, uh, do some gardening, do some gardening or whatever she wants. And I mean, I don't want to take her away from her grandma because her grandma's very close to her and she doesn't get her all the time. But I was just trying to get both of them involved. You want to come by and, and uh, she can come by when, when you want. And um, I hope she gives me some. She was saying she's going to see if she can find some. Because you know how many she found already? She found 30 eggs, I think she told me. I said, you got 30 eggs. I couldn't even find one yet. So I'm hoping that she kind of, what happens is it's kind of funny, but she's very, she's protective of them, but she's kind of like holds them in. She doesn't give them away to anybody. And so this year she said, well, maybe I'll give you a few. And her grandma said, you're actually going to share with her. And I said, isn't that cool that she's going to actually give me some this year if I can't find any, but I'm going to, I'm going to see if she, like when she comes to visit, I'm going to see if she can find some for me. So we'll see how many we get. And I'm going to name them after people. Like I had said for, I've done that every year. Last year was named after my mom. This year will be named after my son-in-laws and my husband. And I got then my sister and brother-in-law and then I'm done. The, or maybe my niece. And then the rest is going to be whatever I get. The, whoever comes to my channel, I was going to name them after the, the people that come to my channel all the time. Hey, oh, you want to see Sukuna? Let me see. Um, and short bus. Hello. Welcome. Here we go. So there it is. I'll show you. Uh, you guys are just coming in, so I'll show you what the egg looks like. The, I just want to be careful, but there we go. It's right there. It's that white little one, right? That, look at my fingers. You can tell they've been in the garden, but right there. I want to touch it. Ooh. There. Anyways, you can see it. Put that down. And there, as uh, the redneck was asking me what why I'm doing that, is because that's a food source for it, the milkweed. So if it hatches, and I have not, there's not a hundred percent guarantee. I've had eggs and they never hatched. But if it hatches, it'll have some food right ready to go down, crawl down there as a little tiny caterpillar, and then it'll have some food source for it. So we'll see. And then as this gets a to be a caterpillar, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch him into my, as I get them, I'm going to keep an eye on them and hatch them in here. And then I'll take them out and put them into my butterfly cage. The, the one I bought, when I buy that last year or two years ago, I bought the butterfly one. So it's actually designed for them, you know, so when they go into a chrysalis, they'll crawl to the top of the cage, do a chrysalis. The thing is, so you have to watch it because if they come in different ages and that when the ones start to fly, they'll knock all the chrysalis off the top of the, the rim and I have to be careful about that. So uh, that's going to figure out if I get a lot, I got to figure out how I'm going to kind of separate them all from different stages. But that's what I want to do. See how many I can get this year. Like she, they're used to doing a lot that, that um, my daughter's, my friend's granddaughter does a lot. Like, like she said, she got found 30 eggs. So they release a lot between the two of them. The grandma and her have lots of them. So should be interesting how many I can keep an eye on and let go. I'm looking forward to that. So all my advice is if you don't want to, if you're in the area between in North America, meaning the states that the butterfly migrate through and go back to Mexico, you don't have to raise these. But if you grow the common milkweed that's supposed to be in your area, don't, don't bring something that's not supposed to be there. Because I was also reading on that. Some people are trying to do, do, um, Put milkweed that shouldn't be there. It actually is harmful to butterflies. You need to get the common milkweed if it belongs in your area because it'll die off. It'll kill all the bacteria, all the germs from the plant. And then it'll reseed and regrow it again into a, a plant that's uh, a com and it's common milkweed you're looking for. The other ones are not uh, good to have because there's one that grows uh, 365 days a year. It's a different milkweed and you can have it. But unfortunately... That milkweed um, doesn't die off, doesn't kill all the bad bacteria and all the stuff that's going on it. And it actually kills monarch butterflies. 
So you need the common one and make sure that it's supposed to be grown in your area um, just to educate you guys on that. So I know that, for instance, the common grows naturally in my area and I pulled it and put it near my house so that now I have a whole bunch and they're all flowering and um, it is really cool looking at them. They had four bees on there. I had four bees on the flowers. It was so fun, fun, exciting. I was looking at all the happy little insects that were all around the top of the flowers. They go crazy, crazy, crazy looking at it all. So if you got any questions or whatever, and if I can answer them, and anytime I do a live stream, go ahead. But I will be doing more live streams. I'm going to bring, I'm staying here for like about an hour and then I'm going to get off. But um, I will be come back with some more live streams like this uh, where I'm going to show you the, the stage as long as it's not flying away. Um, we'll see how many we get too. I'll show you if I get some more, I'll come back. But right now it's not that exciting. At least you get the, the beginning of it. This is the first one of the live streams of many to come. That's the egg. We'll see how many eggs I can fly. Find, and then I'm going to kind of show you as the stages as they become a caterpillar. Then I'm going to move it into a different container, um, a butterfly one. And then eventually they're going to go into a chrysalis and you'll see that. So uh, just if you want to follow along with me when you see me live streaming, I, it'll say monarch butterfly and then I'll say whatever. Uh, sometimes I do live streams at night when I can't sleep. So that's different. That's like a garden live stream. But um, this is going to be unique by itself. You'll definitely recognize the title of it when I say like monarch butterfly. So that's it. And if any questions or you want to, if you read something that you kind of like to want to pass on something new to do with it, um, I'd like to see that. Yeah. Uh, would you, yeah, I am going to look for, I got, I got, now that I got her on board with me, um, the, the, my friends, my friend, neighbor friend that started me out on this like four years ago. Um, she's, I got her granddaughter coming over and then I could see she was really excited to help me because I'd asked her for the last couple of years. And so for sure. And I hope she gives me more Sakuna. I have no idea how many I'm going to end up with, but uh, so let's just count this. What's today. Today is July 3rd and now we're spotting them out. So I, I think they came a little earlier. I think it's running late this year because normally the eggs would have been, I would have found them uh, in June. So this is July 3rd, right? Is it July? No, it's July 4th. Sorry. By the way, happy 4th of July. Sorry. Happy 4th of July to all the Americans out there uh, that are here right now. And yeah, so this is running a little bit late. Normally, I think they're spotted more in my area in June, but uh, hey, we'll see what happens on this. And Sukuna, I will definitely do more. I'll come back and I'll show you how many I get eventually. But to not confuse you, I'll label it so you know that this is this live stream is about that. Um, about that. So how's everybody doing out there anyways? How's everybody doing? Um, hope you guys are having fun out there. And I hope you have a good 4th of July. Hope you do something special. Uh, my specialty is I'm going to go outside and just check on my garden. I was happy, though, to give her... Uh, for helping me out, giving her all that fresh fruit. She got such a kick out of it, you know. There's not a lot of gardeners around my area, right, like where I live. There's actually, there's nobody, they do flowers, okay, but they don't do any growing of any sort all, all where I live. And so for her to come in and get to try things that aren't sprayed, um, as a, I think she's 12, and, and it was funny seeing her face when she was eating rhubarb because she's never ate rhubarb before. So I was showing her how I used to eat it as a kid, you could eat it raw, but it's really, really strong tasting. But I used to use it as a, I used, did it all the time growing up. I would take a stick and we'll obviously cut it off, clean it. And then I would dip it in white sugar. Um, and that's how we, that was our treat. I mean, I didn't have junk. I, I guess sugar is not great nowadays, but I would dip it in there. If you have more eggs, that will good, good different selection color of butterflies. No, well, it'll be the same column. But you know what I'm looking for, Sakuna, would be really cool this year is what if I got a male? It'd be the first male I ever got. So I never had a, I never had a male butterfly. So I think that is going to be cool. And actually, um, if I could show you, I wish I could. There's where, um, 
there's a guy, I think he's a butter, monarch butterfly man. Every year he has raised them. I don't know the guy, but my friend, the neighbor knows him. And every year, and what he did was, I thought this was kind of cool. He actually um, had a male butterfly that was wounded. So he kept the butterfly alive. And then he would, it, he introduced a female butterfly to it. And then he got eggs from the butterfly, uh, from the male. Like he kept the, he kept care of the male because he couldn't release the male because the male was like the one I had the first year. There's something wrong with it. So he, he keeps it like in a separate cage. And then he introduced a female to it. And then they had babies to be released. So he does this a lot, I guess, too. I don't know. I don't know the guy. But I thought that was interesting. Um, you know, so I but I've never had a male butterfly. So that that could be kind of interesting, too have a male butterfly to do. I'm not going to do any breeding with butterflies. I don't want to do that, but I do want to see if I actually get uh, a male butterfly. And then if I find that that's helpful to actually breed a male with a female, then I might do that, but I'm not, I'm not thinking about doing that at all. Yeah. Well, that's what he does. Um, and the male, uh, the males have two dots. That's the only distinguishing feature. They, they, they have two dots on the bottom level two black dots to know it's a male. It's definitely noticeable. They're, I mean, they're not big dots, but there's two dots on the left and right bottom part of the wing. Um, and if I find one, I can't wait to show you that because that's that would be new. I've never had a male butterfly yet. So I don't know if I'd, I want to breed it. I don't think that I want, if there's nothing wrong with the male, it's, it's going to get released. I'm not going to do that. But if let's say there was something wrong <clears throat> with the male, I probably might think about doing that because he's got nothing else to do but sit in the cage and be bored to death. So yeah, you know, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that yet, but <clears throat> excuse me, but it is cool. And I can't wait to see how many I get. So I am just, I'm just hanging in there for an hour. I'm going to get off in an hour and uh, drink my coffee and, uh, you know, if I, I'm going to not probably my next live stream when I do it probably won't be about this unless I see if I find more, I'm coming back and showing you. But if I don't, I'll probably wait till see if this hatches and then I'll come back on a live stream and, and show you the stages of this. I, this is new to me too. This is the first time I ever saw an egg or it on the flower. So that to me is very new, very new to me. Um, seeing it on the, the flower part, the egg right here. I've never saw it. So now I know I got to look on flowers. She was showing me, she said a lot of eggs are on flowers. You got to look for them. So th this is the first start. And now I'm going to probably every day go out and see if I can spot any myself. And we'll see. We'll see. And now I know what I'm looking for. See if I can spot any. My husband is good at, he wasn't too bad. He found them on leaves. I couldn't, I can't see them that good. I can't spot them out at all unless they're moving. I don't see them too good. So what do you guys got done today, Takuna? What are you doing? You've been busy doing, oh, doing a lot of stuff, eh? Let me put it right there. But like I said, I'll come back when I got some more. So thank you. I don't know who's staying with me. It says it's got four people still here. So um, if you're still here, I'll shout you out and thank you for staying with me. Um, whoever's hanging in there in the background. I know Kathleen might still be here because she said she couldn't talk. But uh, Sakuna, are you still here with me too? So I need some more coffee is what I need. I got to get some more milk and I need some more coffee. Uh, yum. I thought so, Kathleen. I know. It's okay. You don't have to type. I knew you said I'm going to be here, but you're just in the background because I'm just going to stay. I'm not going to make this a really super long, not busy today. 
not busy, gives me a rest. Are you going to cook dinner for, I'm not kidding. I'm not, um, can, I'm not from the U.S. My holiday was July 1st, Sakuna. So yeah, it's just, I just celebrated on the first. We didn't do too much, but uh, we celebrate on the first and it's Kathleen. Kathleen, what are you doing special? Oh, actually she's busy. Sorry, Kathleen. I told she said she was listening in the background. I don't want her to have to type because it means she's doing some work back there, but um, whoever's American, if there's, you're still here, what are you guys doing for dinner? Because it's not my holiday. It's anybody from the States. And again, happy 4th of July to anybody. Happy 4th of July to everybody. Oh, Susan's out there. Okay. You're doing a barbecue. That's cool. What are you barbecuing? Oh, I thought you didn't like the barbecue, Susan. I thought you didn't like the barbecue at all. Because uh, I, I I love it. I like having I like having barbecue steak, barbecue ribs, barbecue hamburger, barbecue pork chops, a lot. Oh, does there a cannon? Fireworks and Cliff's gonna like the cannon. You have a cannon. Oh my god, that sounds exciting. Well, hopefully you'll put it, you'll you or Cliff will put a video up and we can see you you doing that uh, lighting the cannon. That's be cool, very cool. No, no, I know you're not barbecuing. Yeah, you, Cliff's going to be probably or the kids are going to barbecue. But I didn't think you liked barbecue. I didn't think you liked the food on a barbecue. I thought you said that before because like you felt like it's it, when you clean a barbecue, it's not like clean like you can clean a pan or an oven. It kind of feels. Um, you just take a scraper and you scrape it, but, but a barbecue is never like clean, like a pan or a stove or anything like that. So I thought you didn't like that kind of barbecue. I wasn't sure. I thought you had said that before that you didn't like barbecue hamburgers or anything like that. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of saying. <sighs> So we have Susan's going to have a barbecue. We're going to have Sukuna. What are you doing for supper today? Since it's not your holiday. Hey, when's the next holiday in the UK? When is the next holiday? Oh, thanks, Sukuna. Thank you very much. Um, always appreciated. I can have a coffee and a cookie. Thank you so much, darling. Uh, very much. Um, hey, everyday solars, what are you doing for dinner? Are you doing anything special? Uh, Cliff has before. He just put up two vids. Uh, oh, okay. All right. So there's a thing on on Cliff's channel. Okay. Um. How's he doing anyways? Is he good? How's Cliff doing this morning? Ugh. You're going to make some iced coffee? Yum. I make, I, I, I buy it, but I can make it too. I don't, I don't have it very often, but actually I consider when I let my coffee go cold, that's what I do, Sakuna. Actually, it's kind of funny. If I have a hot coffee, and my coffee, I use milk and honey in it. <coughs> oh, <coughs> excuse me. It's got company. Oh, cool. If I have a coffee and I put milk and honey in it, that's how I drink my coffee. And it cools off. All you got to do is add ice cubes to it. It tastes delicious. <coughs> <coughs> so I normally, I can turn my normal regular coffee into an iced coffee. Oh, no problem. I just stepped away. To cook the kids a little snack before we have. <coughs> now I'm going to start sneezing. My, my, oh, I hate when I do that. Oh, you put honey in here too? Oh, goofy. I just stepped away the kids a little snack before we have a takeaway tonight for the England football. Cool. I'm not a huge football fan, but I do love the international. Oh, yeah. You guys are. <coughs> Excuse 
excuse me. You guys, what my husband just said, you guys won against Germany or something. My husband's more the sports person than I am. Thank you. What was it? You guys, it was it, uh, was it football? Well, it's not soccer, was it? Was it soccer? Which one was it? Was it soccer, you guys? Because the we call you call uh how do we do that? Because there's one thing that you call, but it's soccer. Oh, oh, I'm off for a week. Just had my second gap company. Oh, did you? We we had uh, I've had mine for now. I think a couple of weeks. My second shot. So I got the two shots too. Um. So I'm happy. We, the whole all of us have it. I think the kids. I'm trying to think if the grandkids have the second shot. Yeah, I think we all have it. We have. My whole, my mom has it. My husband has it. My kids have it. And cause my kids work in the medical field, so they have to have it and my grandkids. So we're all, uh, we're all, we have it. Yeah. Yeah. You call it soccer. We call it football. Okay. Cause I say soccer, but it's football. So yeah, they just, that was a big deal for the UK um, to win against Germany. I, I, I understand a really big deal. And like I said, I'm not a sports person either, but my husband gets into it. And he was just telling me yesterday about, he said, I bet the UK is really happy because they won against Germany. So, and and that's a big deal in, in Europe. Um, as you call football or soccer is a big, big deal. Your, all the, your American football is like a bit like our rugby. Yeah, a little bit like rough and tough. Actually, rugby is a really tough sport too. That's a really one. I know about that one. That's really football to me is you can break a lot of bones and rugby's like that too. Very much so. Yeah. There's a big game. CC. He, I get all the highlights. My husband is into sports. He doesn't watch them all the time. He's not one that sits in, in, in front of a TV, watch sports, but he always gets the highlights. He always, he likes watching like, a, you know, the world championships, like at the finals. He doesn't watch every single game. But when it's the big game like baseball, if it's it's uh, a lot of times we haven't been winning. So our baseball is a lot. A lot of the Canadians are on the American Baseball League. Uh, well, and uh, our baseball teams. And so baseball is a big thing within North America that, you know, we have the Blue Jays. We have a few teams here in Canada and they go against all the baseball teams, the Red Sox and all that um, uh, Tigers for the Detroit, Michigan. So. I would say that's one of the big things is baseball is really big here. Baseball um, and what's and hockey, of course. We do, we do a lot of hockey. And a lot of the players on the American teams are Canadians on a hockey team. And a lot of them are on baseball teams are Canadians too. Because we only have so many, so many Canadian teams here. No, I guess I'm, I'm going to have to get a hold of them. I have it, Susan. I will have to, uh, I haven't seen him on, but he does a lot of stuff. I'll have to check up on him because he, I'll send him an email to see how he's doing because lots of times, lots of, his wife wasn't, she was off and on, not feeling too good. And then she got better. And, um, what else do I know? Um, and he, he is working on different things to do with the internet. So he's not always on uh, YouTube. But yeah, I was thinking about that too. I, I'm thinking I'm going to send him an email and see how he's doing because I haven't heard from him for a little while. Normally, he it's strange not to see him here because he won't talk, but he'll come in and say hi. And he's been, he, he hangs in the background listening to me. Uh, just, just different words when I was in a uh, clothes shop was trying to, on trousers shop, a scissor told to take off my pants. It means trousers. I was, what? Here it means my underwear. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Should have said pants, but normally, yeah, this means the same thing with different spot. Yeah. Pants are their trousers. Yeah, you definitely can get in trouble every day. That's funny. And you're welcome, Susan. Yeah, thank you for reminding me, though. Um, we will, I'll check in and see how he's doing. As a matter of fact, probably. I'll send an email after I get off of here and, and see what's going on. Cause I was thinking about them. I do do that, Susan. Um, when I don't hear from people for a while uh, offline, I'll go in and uh, like, like for instance, Wendy, I know what's going on with her. Cause I, um, 
I've talked to her off and on. I've talked to Wendy, all the people that we I've known for a long time on here. If I don't see them, I talk offline to them. Yeah, we miss his duct tape. Yep, yep. He's a good, he's a, he's a, a very, very sweet guy. He is. He's very helpful. He'll help anybody in a minute. He's, he's helpful, very good with technology and anything he knows. And um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll have to check up on him. Hopefully everything's okay. Because he, he does pretty good, but his wife kind of gets off and on. She has issues, um, his wife. So, th yeah, thanks again, Susan. It's a good idea that you mentioned it to me, and I will definitely look into it and see how he's doing. Absolutely. So Grammy was here for a little bit. Um, how's she doing? She Grammy, I know she. you probably called her and she came in for a second. So um, thank her for dropping in. And so hopefully she's doing okay, I hope. Grammy's doing okay. And I hope this turns out, it looks, the egg almost looks soggy, this thing. But hopefully, hopefully crossing my fingers, I'm going to get some butterflies this year. Like I said, I got a list. How many would that mean I have to get? I got to get, okay, so I have to get one. The first one's going to be for my husband. Yeah, yeah, she's asked me to tell. She, yeah, she asked me to let her know. Oh, cool, okay. Um, So we have, what did I want to say? We have my husband, then my, my Gary and... Josh is my son-in-law. So that's three. And then I have my sister's name is Christine and her husband's Larry. And then there was one more I wanted to, do. I think, I think my niece, Stephanie. So that's six butterflies. And then after that, I've pretty well named the main people uh, in my life. Just one, how many, egg? just one so far in it. And I don't even know if it's going to hatch, but to, to kind of move forward to get all my family on, I need six, six butterflies. And then I'm going to start naming them after my regular people, like, you know, Susan gets one and you can have one too. So, you know, whoever it's been in my coming into my channel a long time, I want to name one after them. Yeah. She's down losing three love people. One, Yeah. That, that, that's, that's a lot to take at once for sure. Susan. Yeah, absolutely. That's a lot. Poor thing. I'm, I'm, and I, I don't even want to say this, but unfortunately, as you get older, that happens. But I, I would be devastated too. I'm not good with it at all. It, I mean, nobody's really good with death, no matter if it's your animal or your child or whatever. Yeah, it's, it's all connected. I hear you, Susan. It's absolutely hard. It's hard no matter what. I mean, it's hard no matter what time of the year. And losing anybody's is hard. And then when you lose a bunch in a row, that's extremely hard. I, I hear you. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully something will will shine through and she'll feel better. Yeah, Sakuna, it's hard. It's it's hard doing that, and you, and you need somebody to cheer you up. Yeah, I, I I get it. I for sure get it. It's hard. But uh, there you go. You have to have some friends and kind of like take your. Even if you you won't forget it or anything, but even if you get yourself a break and take your mind off of it by like chatting on here with people. Like sometimes Susan, you know, you can tell the difference. It's I'm just like you guys. There's times where I need support and come back to talk on here because I might not always tell you that I had a bad day, but there might be something bad and, and, and I feel depressed about it. And then I come back on here. I'm not telling you I'm depressed, but um, there's times where you just feel better chatting online. You know what I mean? There's days where, I actually need the help to come back on it and have people support me and talk to them and make me feel better. Oh my God. Hi, Mike. Hello, Mike. How are you doing? Um, it's welcome. Hi, Mike. So yeah, it's always, uh, Hey Mike, it's been a while, and uh, I mean that in a good way. I hate saying that one. You know what? I, I'm trying to do this. I want to say welcome, and I'm trying not to use the word, but I, you don't mean it that way. Sometimes you go, wow, when people, you, you go to a channel, and you haven't seen them for a while because you're busy and doing stuff, and uh, you go, wow, it's been a long time, but 
then you kind of get insulted by going, well, what does that mean? And then I think I don't, I, when I say it, don't mean it that way. It's kind of just nice seeing people that I haven't seen for a while. That's kind of how I personally mean it. Like, nice, it's nice seeing you. So I'm watching how I use the words instead of saying, wow, it's been a really long time. It's kind of like, wow, it's nice seeing you. I haven't heard from you for a while. It's nice to see you. And we were just showing, um, yeah, that's true. That's true, Sakuna. When it's sunny outside, it does. Oh, it looks like my husband got some. Uh, thanks. Yeah, I'll check on it. He's well, doing I know good. I got brown at first. Eh? Yeah, he's no, he's doing good. Is that other one soft? We're making the spaghetti sauce in yeah, a crock pot. And we add like one hamburger on thought. And I moved and remodeled my home and doing live streams. Oh, nice. Okay. Having her time losing my star. Yeah, absolutely, Susan. That's she's very close to her, her dog, and that's hard. We know how you mean it. Yeah. Um, I, we're making um, spaghetti sauce. And so um, my husband just came in. He has a frozen one. Uh, she wording is important. Absolutely. So, all right, Mike. So he's outside in the garage and uh, he's, he took the first hamburger. We have it. I said, well, put it in the crock pot and we'll unthaw that one in. And then we have another kind of pound of hamburger in the fridge. So I want them all to cook at the right time. So that's what we're doing. What? You moved to Europe. You're, what do you mean? You, you moved to, where are you in the States? Are you by yourself, Mike? Uh, I moved to Europe. Where in Europe are you? Where'd you move to? You moved to, she said, I moved to Europe. So are you by yourself in this, and you're in Europe? Like that, that's shocking to me. Shocking. Yeah, no problem. It's okay there. Every, Everyday solar. I might be getting off very shortly anyways, but uh, no problem. Oh, I got some mail too. What do I got? Oh, I'll check out it after. Oh, thanks. I don't normally show mail here, but I got a little bit something in the mail. I'm going to see what it is. Um, oh, so you're by yourself. So you said, I retired? And wanted to go back to Europe. Uh, I am two and a half hours from Paris. So you're on your own. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. I bought a tool for making books. So that's interesting. Is this open up at all? Anyways, I'll check it out after. But it's um, to make books, to make the holes for books. Um... So that's interesting. I don't remember the name of it. I want to retire. Do you want to retire too? So isn't it expensive to live where you are? I retired as a law... I retired as a law enforcement. Yeah, but how are you? How are you living there if uh, if you're all way out there? Yeah, yeah, you feel very tired. Oh yeah. So I retired as a law enforcement. And you're all yourself in Europe near Paris, and it, Europe's very expensive to live. How on earth did you? Um, how did you afford to do that? How do you afford to live in, in, in Europe? That's pretty expensive to live there. Wow. Did you, I, I'm ta taking a while, I guess you met somebody in Europe. Uh, you met somebody and you're there with them in Europe.
Yeah, I think it's very expensive. I don't, I don't know. I could not afford to go to Europe and move there. That would be way too much. I couldn't afford it all. Yeah, great. No, it's not cheap. I have been saving money and paid for a house here. Oh, yeah? So that's where you want to be, eh? You want to be in Europe? No wife and kids are with. Oh, they're with you. You all moved. No, my wife and kids are with me. Oh. Oh, wow. So the whole family moved to Europe with you. How are they adjusting to that? How are they adjusting to, to where you're living? Oh, I didn't know they are from here. I didn't know that. Oh, oh, I well, I thought your wife was, I thought she was American Indian, your wife, Mike. Because I remember meeting, I saw them. They were, I had I met your wife. I spoke to your wife and the kids way back when. So I didn't know they were from Europe. I thought their nationality, I thought they were like American Indian or sorry, American Native. I don't want to say it the wrong way, but weren't they American Native? That's what I thought. Anyways, good. No mortgage, I hope pay off soon. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. If you're going to save and pay cash and pay your house off and then you have an income coming in, that's good. That's cool. That's very cool. Yeah. Nope. I met my wife when I was in the army. So we're like, I, well, what's your back? I don't, I'm not asking you to, to tell us where you live because for safety reasons, I don't want to know that, but what is your back? What is your, what's your, your wife? Like, where is she originally from? How's that? Where's your wife originally from? I, I, it's paid off. Have been three. Oh, it's been paid off for three years. Wow. Good for you, Sakon. If you get your house paid off in um, five years, good for you guys. So where, what, it, where is she originally from? You don't, like I said, I'm not trying to figure out. She's, you said near Paris. So is she from France? It, it, maybe that's right. Maybe your wife did speak French with me. So she's originally from France, right? That puts it pretty generic uh, there, Mike. I'm not putting you anywhere to tell people to figure out where you live because I wouldn't do that to you for safety reasons on here. You know what I've been through. You were with me when I was through it. Yeah. Oh, she's between Germany and France. I didn't. Okay, because I remember. I guess I do remember she had a French accent, your wife, because uh, I spoke to her a little bit in French. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm happy you got the house paid off and... And you're there if that's, uh, you know, you had issues all, all with that in the States. I remember that you were having issues and you couldn't get together with your wife. And so was it easier to take, go back to there? And cause she was, she was really from there. And it, you, did you have a hard time going to, to there, like being American? I remember all that. You were dealing with a lot of that. Yeah. She's, I knew she speaks French. And now it makes all sense to me. And then she's from there. So she, she will have no problem with, she had no problem going back home, but you would have had the problem. So you can speak German and French probably. Yeah. That's nice to know, Mike. I'm happy that I'm happy for you. If you're doing well out in your back, um, that's, I'm really happy for you. Honestly, we used to speak a lot all the time, Mike. And I miss that. I miss that. We talked a lot and um, ice arrested her. Yeah. ICE is, is that international? What does ICE stand for? Yeah. I remember that, that they were trying to send her back, right? I remember you saying that because you didn't have her for a while and the kids. So it's ICE international, something like that. Good weather there too. You think that, that Germany and France have good weather? You know what I wanted to do just because we're talking about uh, France I always wanted to take the boat from the UK and go underneath the water to go to Paris, France. I thought that would be a fun trip. Yeah, immigration. Okay. All right. Well, this all makes sense to me now, too. It's been a long time since I spoke to you, but I remember it. Uh, a lot of that makes a lot of sense. Uh, that's great. Well, so you had no problems with getting your papers to go move there with the kids and your wife, right? 
Like it was, was it more easier for you to go back with her and then her to come over here? So that's good though. That's good if you're uh, doing much better out there. Very good. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's good. Well, um, hopefully we keep in touch a little more. I mean, I popped in on your stuff, uh, your game live streams. Whew. So, well, I mean, I kind of trans, I, I made my channel more what it's supposed to be. So this is the first time I'm actually offline talking a lot about different things, which is cool. But I do talk a lot about gardening part. That's, I have, so my beginning, I would go singing and I was talking about everything. And I really like the gardening side of this. So I have kind of transferred my, most of my live streams are to do with anything, educating the butterfly. But I talk a lot about gardening uh, and that's kind of what I stick with. So that's, you know, with, whether people like me because of the gardening side or not, I'm still going to stick to what my channel's about. Oh, yeah, I have another channel with videos here. Okay. So my, I am going to stick with, uh, yeah. One day I'll talk to you offline here. I'm not going to talk on here why things have changed. But like I said, I, I love my garden stuff. And that's what I'm going to stick with between the butterflies and, and talking to my friends, of course, and sticking. my Most of my live streams are going to be about, like I said, it's going to be gardening. And I guess if you don't enjoy talking about gardening, then really you weren't really a gardener in a channel that you don't like rather than a friendship thing. That's kind of other channels do that. Kind of like taking you, you you're a gaming show, so you stick it. I will do doing ghost hunting on other channel. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I remember you like all that stuff too. Yeah. So I'm looking for people that like to come to my channel and get to know me for a long time and like what I talk about in the gardening world. And that's kind of who I'm looking for, particularly that's going to stay with me. People that like gardening kind of come back and hang with me. So let's, you know, people that do coin channels and everybody in the coin world stays with coins. Everybody kind of does their thing. And then, and I go visit everybody, but it's not like gaming's never been my thing, but I like, I go to support channels too of what they like. Well, you have, I, you know, for a long time, I don't think you know all the whole story about different things, but um, uh, that's what I'll say on that. But anyways, that's long gone. Um, I'm happy the way I am. It might be a slower channel, but I don't have anybody bugging me. Like in the beginning, it's nice. Hey, Ozark, you want to see? This is an egg. This is uh, what I do. This is last, This is the fourth year raising monarch butterflies, and that's what you'll be seeing me live stream on. There it is, right there. It's not a butterfly yet, but it's an egg, and hopefully you can see it right there. Your, what do you mean your trip you've done? I watched it. There it is. I'm not even putting travel stuff on here too much. All I want to do is gardening on here and talk about eggs, like butterflies. That's it. Anything nature in gardening, I don't even want to put, if I travel, I'm not going to put it on this channel probably most likely because that's not what I want to do here. You can see it right there, Ozark. You can see the baby butterfly. Well, the egg. So, yeah. Yeah, and the RV. Yeah. Yeah, I traveled a lot, Mike, but I just, uh, this is not, this is, my channel is not, it's sticking to gardening what it is. Mrs. Green Thumbs Gardening. And it's going to stick to educating people on gardening and talking about with gardeners. And it's going to be about butterflies and stuff. And if you like that sort of thing, then I hope you join me in my live streams and watch my videos and support my channel. Um, that's what it's sticking to. It's not all just about, it was never about numbers. It was always about what I love doing, which is gardening. So that's what I've, you know, if I... If I have four people to come, two people, whatever, and that's what I get, that then at least I know that we have we have things in common that we like to the channel. It's not about just supporting a channel. Um, it's about showing to say you like the stuff you do. Yeah, I am not. I just come to support you. Well, that's all right. 
That's very kind of you. It's nice knowing that your family and everybody's good and keeping up with uh, all the stuff. Uh, that's nice to know. It's nice to know that you're doing better. It's been a long time. We've known each other for a long time, but I haven't seen you for a long time. And But I'm glad you're on the right track. If ever you got your family together and everything, that's great to hear. Um, I'm enjoying that. So anybody that's coming in want to see it, you can see the little egg. Ozart, that's what I've been doing since the last, this is number four, four years. I have been live streaming and showing videos on um, monarch butterflies. And that's what I do when the season comes to, it's running a little late. Normally the, 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 it's normally June when it's happening. It's not July, but uh, Hey, I'm, I'm taking it. I'm happy. Cause how long we know each other. Yeah. So I'm happy that um, we finally found an egg and hopefully I can find some more. And the next time I live stream, I will be, well, whatever. I'll either be, like I said, talk, this is, I'm getting off the track, but I'll be talking about gardening or I will be putting out my little butterfly eggs. No way. Hi, Cliff. No way. Much love. I gave you a like. Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much. So there is the little egg. No way. No way, he says. No way. Looks delicious. That's gross. That's gross. Where's Misha? Misha, I'm going to get Misha out and I get her to slop you. I don't know where. Oh, she's on vacation, I think, right? Is Misha on vacation? I think she she's on vacation. So I'm going to, when I see her, I'm going to say, can you slop Cliff for me? He wants to eat my baby egg. Make an omelet. <laughs> I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get Misha to beat you up. Uh, that's what I'll do. You like that anyways. You like Misha, so I'll get Misha to, to go after you and beat you up there, Cliff. That's what we'll do. S slop Cliff. Misha's still upstairs sleeping. Um, oh, wait a minute. It's 11 o'clock. She would be up by now. Oh, no, she won't. You're right. Misha's probably still sleeping. She doesn't get up till about 12. My time. That's right. Because lots. Yeah, you're right. She probably is still sleeping. Yeah, Misha's a sweetheart. Misha's a sweetheart. Would slop Cliff in a minute. She'll slop Cliff. No one is saying anything bad about Misha. I'm just saying that she puts. She can put you in your spot in a minute. That's what I'll say. That is what I'll say. No, you said I like, no, wait a minute. What'd you say? Misha's a sweetheart. Uh, I didn't say, no, you said Misha's a sweetheart. Hey, oh my God, UFO, how are you? What brings you around, my friends? Hello and welcome. Look at, I get, I, I'm, I'm seeing all the strangers I haven't seen for a while today. So there is the little egg. Hi. How are you doing, UFO? Oh, you've been working a lot on stuff? Oh, yeah. Trying to get caught up. Just been working on stuff. Well, that's cool. That's nice to hear. But I, I think, uh, <sighs> 
Yep, there you go. How are you doing? And I'm going to get going very shortly here because I said I was going to be on for an hour. So um, I think I'm going to adios. It's been an hour and 15 minutes. And I will, like I said, I'll be back. When I can't sleep, I come back. Uh, oh, okay. I've been working on bait shop build. Oh, cool. That's cool. Very cool. So I am going to get going, guys, as I uh, say goodbye to you all. I will, like I said, I'll be back on. If I see anything changing with the butterfly or I get find some more new ones, I'm going to go in um, and I'm going to go get some, uh, yeah, see if I get more eggs and come back and do garden chats. And uh, thank you all. Thanks, Akuna, for the donation. You know, it's always appreciated um, when you do that or anybody donates to my channel. Thank you so much. I just put it back to the channel. So thanks. I think, well, that's cool. So anyways, yeah, me too. All right, so have a good night. Have a good day. Take care, guys. Thanks, everybody, for coming. I appreciate everybody, even the ones that I've seen for a long time. Thank you, UFO and, and Mike and all that. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Cliff, you're funny. Have a good one. I just want to tell you. I'm going to freak out. Okay.